really important to us. Please stay on the line after your call for a short five-question survey. Hey, I, I have a question for you, if you're willing to help me. Um, you guys make dog food, and like in a survival situation, say you've got you're like stocked up on dog food, and your dog dies. Is it okay for people to eat it? Yes. Hello? Yes? I didn't catch the last part of it, I'm sorry. But what, what would you say like in a survival situation if that was like all that's left and everyone's gone, like everyone's dead, what would you say then? I mean, are you just saying that to like protect yourself because you don't want to get like a lawsuit because you said uh, it's okay to eat dog food? You're saying that? <laughs> but I mean, what would you do if you were like in a survival situation and all you had left was dog food? Well, no. Well, no, but I'm just saying. I mean, what? Do you have one? I mean, I don't want to call the Boy Scouts. Can I call, like, call your boss and see what he says? My name is Eric. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my name is Russell. Russell is my first name. Eric is my middle name. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hey, cuz. Cuz, she's trying to get somebody on. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um... She says, she don't know, she doesn't, she don't want to answer. I think she's just trying to cover herself, but. Hey, cuz. Cuz ain't talking to me. Cuz uh, don't talk to me. I know, maybe you know how it is when your cuz don't want to talk to you, but. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to uh, get survival instructions, because I want to eat dog food you know if in a survival situation you're gonna have to eat dog food because that's gonna be all that's left you ever guys have ever ever you guys have ever been to walmart you see that old roy dog food i don't know if that's like a off shoot brand of what you guys make like purina over there like maybe you throw some extra garbage in there 
and like, well, let's call this old Roy because it's got more garbage in it, but I don't know. I mean, I could probably eat that stuff in a survival situation. That's what, that's all I'm trying to get. Nobody wants to give me any answers here, you know? Oh, I thought someone asked, but I tell you what, um, I tell you what, man. I mean, I'm willing to eat garbage in a survival situation. Because I don't know if you guys have ever, have you guys ever been to Walmart? Old Roy dog food is probably mostly garbage. But, I don't know. My cousin sits over there and he plays them dang video games. And he's just like clicking on the thing. He's like, boo, 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 boo. You know, he's like shooting up monsters and stuff and I'm like god dang it man you know I tried to stall this Rubik's Cube you know but I I think it's okay to call Walmart and or call you know and call and ask about survival situations and he's like no you can't call you guys are conspiracy theorists you know you know I'm like god dang it man but I'm just trying to survive here, you know what I'm saying? My name is Russell, Russell Brevard. I am from Vermont and have an overactive bladder. I was just wondering, you know, uh, about your dog food. You guys make dog food? Is it okay for people to eat that, like in a survival situation? That would be completely up to um, whoever it would be in that situation. We do not recommend to eat the, any dog food as it is not intended for humans to eat. So again, it would have to be up to whoever it would be in that situation. Well, what if I was in that situation? So if I was in that situation and I wanted to eat it, you you think you you would say that would be okay? I'm not saying it's okay because we do not recommend it. It would be completely up to you if you want to. Oh, okay. Well, but what? Uh, I mean, what do you put in that stuff? Do you got? Do you make it there? Like say if my favorite was venison, and I was a person, would you say would, would then would, then would you say it was okay for me to eat in a, a, a survival situation? No, I would not. No. Oh well, I mean, do you guys think less of dogs than of people? Do you put garbage in the dog food or something? Like make it not acceptable for people to make it acceptable for dogs? Can you give me like a, Can you give me like an example of one thing that would be like good for dogs but not for humans?
Okay. Okay. Do you have a dog? Yes, I do. What kind of dog do you have? I have a miniature schnauzer. Oh, those are nice. Um, what kind of food do you give it? Um, I give him one of our product pro plan saver, so chicken and rice. Chicken. And, do you, how many times a day do you walk him? Do you live like in an apartment or do you have in a house or like where you walk him in the backyard or something? I live in an apartment so I walk him around the building. Oh, oh that's cool. Um, do you like play? Do you have a ball you throw to him where you go, you like throw it and then he comes back and catches it and stuff? Uh, he's not really much of a ball player. He likes to play with toys. Oh, what kind of toys do you have for him? <laughs> How big is it? The toy? The toy, yeah. It's small. It's like maybe six inches long. <laughs> is it bigger than the dog? <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh. Not bigger. Okay, yeah. Uh, He's about 20 pounds. Yeah. How long have you worked for Walmart? Uh, I mean Purina. Yeah, Purina. I'm sorry. Purina, um, a little short of a year. Do you like working there? Yes, I do. Yeah. Do you, uh, you ever heard of IMS? EMS? You know about that company? You, uh, do you know why, like, when you, I buy, I buy this food for my dog and I buy it, like, do you know why? When you buy that food, there's like no ability to re reseal the bags when you cut the top off. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure. I'm not very familiar with the, their products or their packaging. But I'm not exactly sure on why they don't have that. Can you, get, can you reseal the bags when you cut them off in your Purina dog food? Dog food? <laughs> Do you know anybody that works for IMS? Uh, do you know how to pronounce that? How do you pronounce it? Um, I think you're pronouncing it right. IMS? That's how I pronounce it myself. Is that like your competition? You probably don't want me talking about him. You're like, I hate those guys, you know? <laughs> do you like those guys? Well, I, I've never spoken with IMS. I, uh, I personally have never used that brand. Uh, but again, I, I'm not sure. I can tell you one thing about that brand, their bags suck. <laughs> and that's why I'm thinking about switching to Purina. Purina, how do you say your name? Purina. Purina, okay. But I tell you what, they we buy these bags, that's what my dog likes, you know, she buy them. We buy them bags and it's like, you cut the top of it off and like there's no like ziplock thing or nothing, you know. You just cut it off and it's open and it just sits there. You can't ziplock it or nothing. I'm like what the heck, man? Dang it, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. They definitely do. Do you guys have a better bag than that at Purina? Uh, again, we do have different bags that have um, like a little glue that would allow you to seal it when you do cut it. Uh, the larger bag. Yeah. Do you guys sell clips? Uh, personally, uh, Purina, no, we don't have clips. Oh, does I am sell clips? I'm uh, not too sure. I'm sorry. But I'm not aware. I just don't know what I'm because I bought like a big five pound bag just a couple days ago, and it's all sit. It's sitting there like open. I could probably show it to you, 
but it's sitting there open and I have no way to seal it. I'm like, God dang it, man. You know, don't you ever get frustrated like that? But what if you don't have any clips? <laughs> but uh, anyway, what's your name? My name is Andrew. Andrew. Okay. Do you uh, do you love your dog? Yes, I do. Do you go out and like play with it and stuff? Yes, of course. Yeah, I do too. My dog. I like my dog a lot. Um, do you, do you work at the, like a factory? You work at like a call center or something? Yes, call center. Oh yeah. And you, the, you don't make dog food? No, no. You don't know what they put in it? I know the ingredients, but I don't see where, where it's actually made. Can you list off the ingredients to me? Uh, you want me to pick a random product? Um, uh, like a like a miniature dog style food, can you list off the ingredients for me? Sure, let me pull one up here. Like a small breed, you said? Yes. Like a chihuahua. Uh, we do have a formula, it's called the Broke Man uh, Bright Mind Small Breed. And I do have the ingredients listed here. It's chicken, whole grain corn, poultry byproduct meal, brewer's rice. Are you sure you're telling me? Is there some chemicals in there? Is that all of them? I can list out the, the vitamins and minerals where you have those listed here as well. Okay, go ahead and list those, please. Sure. So that would be for this product, the, the small breed. Um, right after the fish oil and wheat bran would be the vitamins. It would be uh, marginal. Okay. Do any of those cause cancer? No. Oh. Do any of them cause AIDS? No. Okay. All right. Uh, what's your name again? I know you told me about five times, but thank you. Andrew. Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I appreciate your assistance. Thank you, Andrew. You have a good night and you go home and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, Andrew.